At the end of this presentation, you will be able to define the elements of the logical structure of Active Directory Directory Service and discuss the purposes of those elements. Active Directory provides secure storage of information about objects in its hierarchical logical structure. The logical structure consists of objects, organizational units, domains, domain trees, and forests. Objects are the most basic components of the logical structure. They represent users and resources, such as computers and printers. Object classes are blueprints or templates for the types of objects that you can create in Active Directory. Each object in Active Directory is uniquely defined by the combination of its attribute values. Attributes define the possible values that you can associate with an object. Each object, for example, an object that represents a specific user, is based on an object class. To create a user object, you must have a user object class to use as a template. Object classes and attributes are collectively known as the Active Directory Schema. An object is uniquely defined by the values that are assigned to the attributes that the object class contains. Because Active Directory stores information about objects as attribute values, users and applications can easily find the objects that are associated with specific attribute values. For example, a user can search for the printer that is closest to her desk by searching for a printer that has a building value and location value that match her floor in her building. Organizational units, or OUs, are container objects that you use to arrange other objects to support your administrative purposes. For example, you can arrange user objects in OUs based on the business unit, geographical location, or a single object class. This way you make it easier to locate and manage objects. You can also delegate the authority to administer an OU. You can nest OUs in other OUs to further simplify the administration of objects. For example, your organization has six financial departments, each with its own OU. To simplify administration, you can nest all six OUs in one finance OU. You can then create one parent OU and apply security and administrative rules to it. These rules will apply to all of the nested OUs. OUs organize objects within a single domain. Domains are the core functional units in the Active Directory logical structure. Domains serve three functions. They act as an administrative boundary for objects, they help manage security for shared resources, and they serve as a unit of replication for objects. A domain is a collection of administratively defined objects that share a common directory database, security policies, and trust relationships with other domains. It is common to place objects in the same domain if you want them to share a common security policy or be managed by the same systems administrator. You can use domains to manage security for shared resources. Security policies are created at the domain level and provide consistent security for the resources in that domain. The objects in each domain are stored on the domain partition of the Active Directory database. Computers that are called domain controllers store copies or replicas of the domain partition. These replicas automatically update each other when any changes are made so that the information on each replica of the domain partition is consistent. Domains can be arranged together in hierarchical structures that are called domain trees. When a second domain is added to a tree, it becomes a child of the tree root domain. The domain that a child domain is attached to is called the parent domain. A child domain may, in turn, have its own child domain. The name of a child domain is combined with the name of its parent domain to form its own unique DNS or domain name system name. In this manner, a tree has a contiguous namespace. For example, an organization named Northwind Traders establishes a domain tree and names the first domain nwtraders.msft. The systems administrator then decides to create child domains for the research department and the sales department because they have significantly different policy needs. 
these child domains take the name of the parent domain and become research.nwtraders.msft and sales.nwtraders.msft, respectively. Most organizations are well served by a single tree in which each domain is a child of a single root domain. Forests are made up of one or more trees. The first domain in the forest is called the forest root domain. The name of that domain is used to refer to the forest. In this example, the forest is nwtraders.msft. A forest contains an entire instance of Active Directory. By default, information is exchanged only within a forest. In this way, the forest is a security boundary for all of the information in Active Directory.